Breaking news in Chapel Hill. UNC Chapel Hill is on lockdown after reported shots fired on its campus this afternoon on the sixth day of classes. The university sent out an alert to staff and students around one o'clock this afternoon, and police have been looking for a suspect ever since. UNC police tweeted this picture of who they are calling a person of interest as they look for someone considered armed and dangerous. They are saying if anyone sees this man, keep your distance and call 911. I should mention there are reports that he's been arrested, but according to a tweet 10 minutes ago from UNC, he is still at large, and that's what we're gonna go with at this hour. We have monitoring video from that scene where some students are being led out of the buildings, but I should mention that shelter in place has not ended. All classes and events are canceled, and we have a crew on the campus there at UNC. Fox 8's Cassie uh, Fambro is there, and tell us, what is it like on campus right now? How is everyone feeling? Well, guys, it's been a harrowing two and a half to three hours here at UNC Chapel Hill, and that's because that alert went around one o'clock today, letting students know that they needed to shelter in place and that there was a possible school shooting here. Just within the last half hour or so, I was able to speak with a police officer who confirmed that while the shelter in place has not been lifted, they have evacuated certain buildings that they feel are out of imminent danger. So that's why you see students behind me actually coming out of buildings, walking around, more students on campus. Campus. We have a live look from the other side of the scene from where we're on that shows just the massive scope of law enforcement. And this is actually smaller than it was earlier. We saw a military style armored vehicle in addition to state troopers, local law enforcement, UNC police, everyone on the scene. But like I said, some are leaving now. We do have video from earlier that shows people being evacuated from buildings on campus as law enforcement worked to secure the area on South Drive. We know police got that photo of a suspect out about an hour ago. There are 32,000 students here, and that doesn't include staff. Many of them saying that even though that shelter in place is still in place and they're out here on the streets, they are shaken up. A little traumatized coming from a small town. It's not something I'm used to, so it's, it's just a lot. I know my mom, all my parents, everybody from home has been blowing up my phone, wondering how I am, so I know it's a lot for me and everybody else. That's it. Everybody else that's related to anybody that goes to this school. And just like Natalie said, we are on top of reports that there has been someone possibly taken into custody, but we do not have confirmation here on the ground from UNC police yet. As soon as we do have confirmation, we will certainly bring that to you. But for right now, lots of students walking around campus on the phone, calling mom and dad, telling them that they're okay. For now, live at UNC Chapel Hill, Cassie Fambro, Fox 8 News. And Cassie, before I let you go, have you heard anything about a possible press conference or any updates that could be expected sometime this afternoon or early evening? We are awaiting, hopefully, a gaggle of some kind with local law enforcement. I was able to speak to that officer who said that they can keep us updated, but I have the alerts turned on on my phone straight from UNC police, so as soon as we get any official confirmation, whether it be that that suspect has been arrested or there is a media gathering soon, we will have that for you immediately on air and online. Natalie? All right, Cassie, we will be sure to continue to check in with you. In the meantime, I want to share that Governor Ward Cooper has released a statement vowing to help get the situation resolved, writing, quote, I have spoken with Orange County Sheriff Blackwood and Department of Public Safety Secretary Buffalo and pledged all state resources needed to capture the shooter and protect the UNC campus. And of course, we are following this story throughout this newscast and throughout the evening on Fox 8 at 5, 6, and 7 and myfox8.com as these developments unfold. And unfortunately